Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. In just the last six months, we have seen one of the worst acquisitions I have ever seen, and that is Penn Entertainment's acquisition of Barstool Sports. The company paid a $315 million check to Dave Portnoy and any other investors that he had just in February, and then just gave the company back to him yesterday. I want to go through exactly how crazy this deal is and what a loss it is for Penn Entertainment. They're making a huge swing on partnering with ESPN, but I think it's worth looking back on the Barstool Sports deal and what a disaster it was. My name is Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And if you like this video, check out my newsletter, Asymmetric Investing. I have a link to that in the show notes. And I want to start with a SEC filing from February when Penn Entertainment completed their acquisition of Barstool Sports. This is from February 17th, 2023. Penn had already acquired a, a portion of Barstool in 2020. That was when their initial deal was announced, but they had the option to buy the rest of the company for $388 million. That included 2.4 million shares of Penn stock. And right here, approximately $315 million in cash to acquire Barstool Sports. That was February six months ago, less than six months ago. This is the SEC filing from yesterday. On August 8th, Penn entered into a stock purchase agreement with David Portnoy, pursuant to which, among other things, Penn sold 100% of the outstanding shares of Barstool to David Portnoy in exchange for certain non-compete and other restrictive covenants. They also get the right to receive 50% of gross proceeds if Portnoy ever sells Barstool. So six months after writing more than a $300 million check, they just gave the company back to them. Why is Barstool and specifically Portnoy out with Penn Entertainment? Well, they just made a deal with ESPN. ESPN has had its own issues with Portnoy in the past. They had a partnership and a show that was supposed to air, and that didn't really go anywhere. It didn't really go very well. Their brands didn't really mesh. So now Penn Entertainment makes a deal with ESPN, pays $1.5 billion in cash over the next decade, and gives over $500 million worth of warrants. Let me go through the warrants right here. In total, we're talking about potentially over 35 million shares worth of warrants that are exercisable, mostly under $30 per share. So Penn Entertainment essentially is writing off a $500 million acquisition that they completed six months ago, signing another $1.5 billion deal with ESPN, including the option to dilute shareholders further if it is successful, because if the stock goes up, ESPN is gonna get those shares and that's gonna be dilutive to current shareholders. And this is for a company with a market cap of just over $4 billion. So it is wild that Penn Entertainment has gone through such a wild ride just over the last couple of years. The Barstool deal was obviously a disaster or they wouldn't have gotten out of it by just giving the company back to David Portnoy. And they were so desperate to make a deal to increase market share in their online betting space that they made this deal with ESPN that is $150 million in cash payments per year. And then on top of that, warrants for the company. So they obviously didn't have a lot of negotiating leverage in that deal with ESPN. So they're basically paying out the nose for that too. It's just a wild turn of events for Penn Entertainment, burning through $500 million in both cash and stock, and then also making this massive deal with ESPN. Just has to make you question what the company is doing long-term. This is a company that was at the leading edge of getting REITs into the gambling space. I think that was a very good move for them, but since then has not been great at executing their strategy. This is another move that I frankly don't know if it's gonna pay off. I think the upside ultimately goes to ESPN and Disney, and the downside is that maybe it's not successful and this is just another $1.5 billion burned by Penn Entertainment. But what do you think of the deal? Love to hear your comments in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.